Hello, in this shorter video I like, I'd like to make a short brief comparison of two devices by E1DA. It's uh, their 9038 uh, digital tonal converter and power deck, so yet another digital tonal converter. You know, its uh, devices are really different, but they came from same manufacturer and they share main idea basically you know both devices are trying to find the limits of the possible sound in the personal audio but they just doing it in a bit different ways and uh, i already released detailed excessive reviews of both these both devices but i think uh, for someone who is thinking about both of them who are comparing and trying to make a choice uh, separate additional video highlighting the differences uh, will be useful, so let's have a closer look. First of all, let's uh, compare specifications and uh, compare actually the approach. So, first of all, it's 9038S. 9038S is portable digital tonal converter, like small dongle, you can see the internal schema and uh, it's uh, it can be probably called more uh, more traditional in terms of uh, design because here used yes 9032 38q2m as digital tonal converter and ad 8397 as an amplifier price is about 70 80 dollars so it's a bit more expensive 10 uh, grams weight so it's ultra small usb-c as input and uh, here we will have the 550 milliwatts for 16 ohms uh, at 16 ohms of impedance so it's pretty powerful and it has uh, four uh, modes normal mode default one performance with uh, total harmonic distortion performance optimized se mode it's uh, with uh, it's like uh, Amplifying second harmonics to give like more vintage and tube behavior and also second version has uh, uh, has in the monitors mode with uh, less output power and actually it's uh, pretty useful and uh, For the For the power duck, it's um, less convenient less traditional it's a bit heavier and thing is that it's a totally digital amplifier and so it's not uh, traditional in terms of design it uses uh, pvm so basically if i remember if i understand right it's a class d amplifier unified with digital tonal converter but i, I can probably wrong because it's just my assumption so it uses uh, texas instruments uh, TAS5258 as PWM modulator and in terms of specifications it's uh, a bit less powerful but actually not actually not less so also really powerful so in terms of power pretty close I don't know why I thought that this one is a bit more powerful but I was wrong so and uh, they offer a different approach to design so let's unpack them both came in maximum plain and simple boxes without accessories you can get them in the official shops with some cables but stock come without them so first one and second one as you can see size already hints that they are created with different usage in mind so this one is tiny and it's more convenient to use on the go so basically it's ultra small and ultra simple usb-c input led indicator and balanced output they both using 2.5 millimeter balanced output so they uh, keep that in mind so if you want to get one of them you need to have balanced headphones so you if you have single-ended you need to, to change cable there is no way to use them with single-ended cable using any adapter it could damage them so 
This one is a bit more fancy in terms of design, aluminum frame, big USB as input, same 2.5mm as output and LED indicator is put here. And on the back side there is a small schema showing the design of this uh, device. And another difference is uh, controls. So this one actually it's a bit less priced, but it's a bit more feature packed because it offers uh, remote control via companion app that uses Bluetooth low energy. And uh, we connect, it's, uh, so Bluetooth here is only for controls. So you can't transmit signal via Bluetooth. It's not a receiver, only USB audio is supported. So via that application you can change volume, you can, uh, you can change the uh, treble and bass, you can engage uh, parametric equalizer, really convenient and nice working that allows you to change all frequency bands and it's really convenient and you can even engage the compressor that can be useful sometimes in, uh, under some circumstances. And this one is a bit less convenient in terms of controls, no remote control, and actually it requires digital volume control because it uh, doesn't feature in built-in volume control, and it's problematic, for example, with Mac OS. You can use Odirvana, for example. It, uh, Odirvana has its own uh, volume control, but, uh, 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 but the OS sounds themselves will come uh, in really, really loud, so you need to use some hacks to, uh, to change the control if you're using the, it with Mac OS. And same applies to the mobile phones. You need uh, some player that supports uh, digital volume control because both are really, really powerful. So beware and uh, they could damage headphones. But from other hand, they could drive uh, full-size planar headphones easily. Another difference is that uh, this one can power from USB on the go, at least for this waste majority of uh, smartphones. This one can't do that, uh, it's more power consuming a little bit. You can, uh, some people solve that using Y splitter cable with separate uh, connection to the power bank, but uh, it's not really convenient. So basically you know the main difference, at least for me, this one is portable, this one is like more desktop or stationer so it's uh, main difference and of course difference in, in, in terms of controls and they are of course different in terms of sound this one is more focused on the micro detailization more resolving more natural more monitoring and a bit drier in terms of sound more impactful and it's also better on both ends so it has a bit better treble extension and a bit uh, better bass depth at the same time it's brighter it's less forgiving so it requires good uh, quality of records and if records are bad it could be sometimes problematic because it will uh, highlight and show all that issues and this one is more analog, more w bit more on the warmer side, bit more forgiving, so not warm per se, but on the warmer side, bit more vintage, it's a bit more adding weight and you know it's like more, my, more subjectively I like this tuning a bit more because I'm a fan of good weight. It's more highlighting macro dynamics, it's more highlighting transitions, it's more highlighting emotions, so this one is use that, uh, it, this one offers a sound that usually called more musical, so it's uh, I not, I don't understand this uh, term in general but usually like you know musical it's like antonym for the natural for the monitoring so this one is for those who like natural and monitoring this one who like a bit more relaxed and engaging and more emotional sound representation also this one has a bit less background noise with sensitive in-ear monitors it's still present even in the in-ear monitors mode this one is a bit more noisy, it's more tuned for the full-size headphones or for less portable in-ear monitors. So basically to summarize everything, if you need maximum resolution, you have sensitive in-ear monitors or you want to use it on the go, 9038S is for you. 
if you like sound tuning sound tweaking if you like need more, uh, more desktop solution if you need to, to drive full-size headphones and if you like the idea of sound tweaking power duck is your better choice and of course even d working on new devices they have some super powerful uh, combo and not and single-ended uh, portable digital tonal converters so we'll see a lot of interesting stuff from their side thank you for listening and have a nice day